Hello students, hope you all are fine. So again we are back. And today is the poem called Wind. This poem is written by Subramanya Bharti. <clears throat> and you know, uh, the poet is a Tamil poet and this uh, poem was translated from her mother tongue called Tamil. So this poem was translated from Tamil to English. And Subramanya was born in 1882 to 1921. Tamil poet famous for his patriotism in the pre-independence era since he lived during 1882 to 1921 so he lived in the age in the time when India was under British so that time he has written this poem <clears throat> let us see how this poem reads okay let us start the poem okay so the poem is comes softly don't break the shutters of the window don't scatter the papers so the poet is speaking to wind the poet is speaking to wind and he tells the wind that <clears throat> wind comes softly why because if you come harshly if you come strongly then you break the shutters of the window you scatter the papers and is requesting the wind to not throw down the books on the shelf because books are kept on the shelf if it is a heavy winds then what happens the books are scattered there look what you did you threw them all down you tore the pages of the books you brought rain again you are very clever at poking fun at weaklings poking fun at weaklings means he is cracking funds only in weaklings that means that the wind has power over the weakling things whatever is weak the wind can overpower it so indirectly the poet here asks of us to be strong in the mind and spirit okay to become strong because unless and until we are strong then what happens others dominate us so it is a personification that is uh, the poet has done here so here speaking with the wind personification means a figure of speech okay where we consider some non-living thing to be living so here you know that wind we cannot speak to wind but here the poet speaks to wind okay so you brought rain again you are very clever at poking fun at weaklings frail crumbling houses crumbling doors, crumbling rafters and crumbling there looks what you did, you threw them all down you tore the pages of the books you bought rain again you are very clever at poking fun at weaklings frail crumbling houses crumbling doors, crumbling rafters crumbling wood, crumbling bodies crumbling lives and crumbling hearts so here the poet is telling the wind that he has only power over the weak things if something is made strong then the wind has no capacity or it has no power to break it down it has only power over or it can only write over something that is weak so here uh, clearly it is mentioned here frail crumbling houses means weak houses dilapidated houses olden houses okay and then crumbling doors the doors which has uh, lost its strength okay and then weaklings means weaklings means all the weak things the, the wind has only a strong or oh, so it has only a power over the weak things it has no power over the um, powerful things and let us see in the next paragraph what the uh, poet wants to say as the wind god winnows and crushes them all. He won't do what you tell him. So come, let's build strong house homes. So the poet says here that the wind god, the wind god means the uh, god, one who mm, leads, one who controls, one who guides this wind. He won't listen to us. He will not listen to us if we speak to them. Only we have to withstand this wind by our strong mind and willpower or building something strong because in the first uh, part we have seen that it has only power over the 
weakling things it can only poke fun at weaklings but the things which are strong it is afraid here says the wind god winnows and crushes them all whom them all means here the wind god winnows it can take away it can crush it can break it can destroy the things which things the weakling things here them means the weakling things the weak hearts also okay also it is uh, spoken about the people those who are weak in their spirit weak in their heart so they can be destroyed by stronger ones so we can uh, bring this situation into the society also okay we can discuss it in content with the society also in connection with the society what happens then so in the society also many powerful people they override they overtake they dominate the weak people so here the poet is indirectly telling the people those who feel those who feel that they are nothing those who are weak in the spirit and heart he tells them that to become strong otherwise these people aren't here if you tell them they will not listen it is clearly mentioned that if you tell wind god it will not listen okay therefore we have to become strong or we have to make something strong which can withstand this difficulties the difficulties of life the harsh situation of life or the wind whatever you understand it okay so come let's build strong homes in order to withstand this trouble in order to withstand this or in order to face this we have to make strong homes let's join the doors firmly if the door is weak if the door is shaking if it is crumbling then wind has the power to break but if you firmly or strongly fix the doors what will happen the wind will be unable to break it then so we can easily overcome that okay let's join the doors firmly practice to form the body practice to form the body we have to be also strong and strong in our body and spirit and heart practice to form the body make the heart steadfast 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 means very strong which can withstand the difficulties of life unless and until we are strong in our heart or at our heart we cannot withstand the difficulties that come across our way so do this and the wind will be friends with you if you do this if you do these things what all what what all the things the poet is asking us to do the poet is asking us to make our heart steadfast make a strong house fix the door properly or strongly then the wind god cannot do anything with this because the wind god or the wind has only power over the weaklings he cannot do anything with things which are strong therefore when we are strong then we will not be shaken by anything else no storm can shake us if we are strong in or when our heart is steadfast so the wind blows out weak fires so if you do like this what happens the wind will make he himself the wind itself will come and make friendship with us okay then the wind the wind blows out weak fires so it has power over weak fires but remember he makes his strong fires roar and flourish but it has the power to make long fire roar and flourish that means it helps long fire to burn more and it uh, blows out weak fire so in the same manner in the societies also when we are not strong what happens people come and dominate us but when we become strong then people are afraid us and they help us and they listen to us that's what the poet wants to say okay because it is a patriotism it is said so here he we can also connect it to our country so we can say that the poet is asking all the citizen of india to be steadfast in spirit to be steadfast in heart to be strong enough to face all the difficulties that are coming and we have to become strong then only we can stumble all these problems and uh, we can uh, be a shield for our nation or for our own life so he makes a strong fires roar and flourish his friendship is good we praise him every day if you praise him every day then his friendship is good so wind is only just a personification or 
or it is just mentioned here but uh, actually um, the poet is speaking about our own self and our own difficulties which we face or we can also connect it to the to our own country where we are living that we are under threat we are under the british rule we had been condemned under them or they were uh, persecuting us they were or we are under very much struggle so the poet was actually giving a hint or a, 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 uh, the poet wanted to say that we have to become strong in order to fight with these evils of the societies so the, the evils of the societies are deep rooted in our society okay social evils so we have to uproot them and unless and until we are strong enough we cannot uproot them thank you for listening and let's meet in the next lecture